Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are diving into a 3D rendering in Cool Home. I will show you how to use the rendering tools, set up your camera, and create a perfect balance between natural and artificial light in your room. We'll also go over the render settings to help you achieve the best results. So let's jump in and get started. First, go to images and video. From the left side, you will have a window to control the parameters of the image. So here you can uh, change the format you have presets that you can choose from and here you can pick the resolution of your image basically when you upgrade you will have an unlimited number of 1k images and for the 2k 4k and 8k uh, images you will have limited number based on the plan that you purchased so for your test renders i advise you to always choose the 1k sd and then when you are sure about your renders you can choose 2k and 4k images uh, kuhum also has made presets for you that you can use you can have the indoor daytime and indoor uh, nighttime you can just pick something like this and then you choose the angle of your camera and uh, click render and it will render with the specific setups or you can customize your setting based on your preferences, which is the thing that we are going to do. So this is uh, the basic setting for the advanced setting. I advise you to go and check all these boxes because if you hold on on each parameter, you can see what uh, kind of effect checking the box is going to do. So I advise you to go with all of these checked. And then for this one, these last two, use them only when you are going to do a final render otherwise the time of rendering will increase and we'll be wasting a lot of time waiting for the renders from the right side you have the parameters of the camera one thing you can do is that whenever you are sure about the position of your camera you can just uh, come here and click save the angle so whenever you scroll around the project you just need to come back and click here in the camera to get back to the initial position to place your camera just right click and move up and down uh, to zoom in and zoom out and then you can move uh, left and right to move the position of your camera and the left key is to orbit around the view i would like to capture this view here usually i would like to keep the height of camera at one meter and 10 centimeters and you can always click click here let's just save this angle first it's already saved if you want to correct the verticality of your camera, you just need to click here, uh, correction. And if you are familiar to Corona and V-Ray renders, you'll notice that it's a bit similar to this software. So let's just go back uh, to our view. And let's just start uh, a render with, with the basic parameters that Kuhn gave us. So let's make sure to always pick the 1K in SD and then click Generate. Once it's done, just click check it now. And this is the render that we have. You can see that it looks good, but we can create a balance between artificial and hidden light. And you can notice that the hidden light here uh, is not appearing. So we will need to just go and customize the settings ourselves. So close the window. From this tab, you can change the environment. It's like an HDRI uh, image in V-Ray or Corona. To customize, just click Add One and then pick Indoor, uh, Indoor Daytime, click Confirm. And here you can see that Kuhom made lights based on the lighting that you suggested on the ceiling and also the window. You can also shift to the 2D plan and see how Kuhom automatically distributed or generated the light. It looks a bit messy, so what I am going to do is I will just select almost all of them and delete them and then I will place the lights by myself. I will make sure to leave this one in the windows because they play the role of sky portals in old versions of Corona and uh, V-Ray. The role of this one is that uh, they are going to take the light of uh, the, the sun, which is this one, and bring it more to the inside. You can see that we have two spots here. So Kunwam automatically placed it, uh, two spotlights. So now I'm just going to go ahead and press Ctrl C to copy the light. And then 
start moving it to the lights or to the track lights we already created. Don't worry about the circular shape. It won't appear in our scene. It will just uh, give us the light. So select Control C again. Since our camera is in this direction, what I would like to do is to keep the sun a bit vertical on the camera. So we will get the light like here with a nice effect on the ground. And to control the sun, you just need to select it and go back to the left side. And here we can control the height of the sun, uh, its location, as you can see, you can control it here from here. When you check this option, the sun will disappear. But in fact, the light of the sun will uh, keep entering to the house. It's just to avoid having the sun effect on the ground. So if you want only to have the, the light of the sun, you can just come here and check uh, this option. But if you want to have this effect, you can just uncheck it like this. This slide bar here is for the shadow. You can see. The bigger the amount, the softer the shadows will be. So I would like to keep uh, the shadows a bit softer. And the brightness is actually where you can control the intensity of the sun. So let's just increase it to something like 50%. Just click Save. And let's go back to our 3D and see how it looks right now. You can always come here and see your previous renders and you can also compare the renders. So one thing I advise you about is to go ahead and try as max as possible to produce some 3D renders with Koham. So you can get familiar with it and as a result you will be better with the time. It's all about getting familiar with the software. So this is how it looks. As you can see it's not that good for the first render. So let's just go back and adjust the parameters. As you can see, it's a bit dark. The back of these chairs is dark and of course increase the light that comes in from the outside. And before that, let's just go back to the 3D and apply the marble material on this wall also. Take the material brush and paint like this. Perfect. Go back to the 3D render. So just come here and click on this little icon to adjust it. Select the sun and let's increase the intensity to something like. Or let's just keep the intensity exactly like it is. I will just select this light, Control C, and I will bring it here more. And I will go to the 3D and scale it down. just to bring more light to this side and from the top view I will go ahead and add rectangular light here just go to the 3D bring it down a bit and rotate it because I want the back of the chairs to be lighter a bit as if there is an artificial light behind it. Now you can see that it's much better than the first one. This kind of velvet fabric started to look uh, nice. Or maybe let's just increase the intensity of the artificial light or the spotlight and see this contrast between daylight and artificial light. Close again, select all the light while holding shift key. For the artificial light, let's just make the temperature make it something like 4500 and increase a bit the brightness. Let's just make it 50. Click save, go back to the camera view and render again. Now that the render is done, I think we need to increase the intensity of the light one more time. Let's just make it 200 and let's make the temperature 4000. 
and let's render again. This was the render after we increased the intensity of the lights uh, to 200. It was still looking not so good. Then I increased uh, the intensity again to 400 and as you can see it looks much better now. Now what I am going to do is I will go to the ceiling editor and increase and adjust the hidden light. And to do so just close the render. Go to ceiling, select the ceiling, then go to ceiling editor. Let's just hide the guidelines. Select all the lights while holding shift key. And then from here, let's just increase this to something like 600. And the color to something like this. Click save and then exit. And then let's just go back to the render and see how it looks. So as you can see, this is the result after making a couple of adjustments on the intensity of the light. Once you are satisfied about your image, now it's time to go and render the final render. And to do so, let's just make a 4K image. One more thing you need to do is you need to come here to the effect setting and then check these boxes also. Because this one is going to reduce the noise in the scene and this one is going to give the light a better effect. Click generate and let's see how the final result is going to be. As you can see, this is the final render. It looks so clean and high resolution. Maybe one thing we need to do is to import this to Photoshop and we can work on the highlighted areas and it will be great. So once you are done, you can just go here and download the original image. And that's it for today, guys. I hope this video was helpful. I encourage you to dive into Kohom and practice using the 3D rendering tools until you are comfortable with them. The more experiment, the better your result will be. And also keep in mind that when rendering, uh, sometimes you will need to go back to the materials and adjust the reflection or refraction, uh, saturation or whatever in order to enhance the quality of your renders. Okay guys, thank you so much and see you in the next one soon.